Combat aircraft are usually classified into generations delimited by specific characteristics, such as their firepower, their stealth, or their speed. At the moment, the fifth generation, embodied in aircraft such as the F-35 or the J-20, is the most modern, but the main powers are already working on the future. In this context, three nations came together to give life to one of the most ambitious projects in the history of aviation, the GCAP, a sixth-generation fighter from British, Japanese and Italian factories. In this new military aviation video we are going to tell you all about one of the developments that could set the pulse of future air wars. In December 2022, three of the largest military powers on the planet presented their initiative to develop a new combat aircraft. Japan, Italy and the United Kingdom will develop a fighter under the Global Combat Air Program, also known as GCAP, which aims to create a sixth-generation aircraft by 2035. This news may sound familiar to you, as some of these nations were already in collaborative projects to develop a fighter jet, but now it's an entirely new program. Under GCAP, the three nations committed to pooling their technological and financial resources to produce a single sixth-generation fighter. Japan was committed to the FX fighter project, while the UK and Italy had met around the development of the BAE Systems Tempest. The development will be in charge of the three main aerospace companies of these countries, the British BAE Systems, the Japanese Mitsubishi Heavy Industries and the Italian Leonardo. The joint work of the engineers aims to quickly have an artificial intelligence system to assist the pilot, as well as avionics capable of facing the electronic warfare of the future. According to the UK Ministry of Defence, the three countries are going to work intensively to develop the structure that is needed to bring this ambitious project to fruition. The first milestone is scheduled for 2025, the year in which the development phase should begin. The trio of nations will also draw up a cost-sharing agreement that must be clear and signed before 2025, as they say, good reckonings make good friends. Of course, this will be accompanied by the development of new weapons, although it is expected that each aircraft will carry a mix of missiles and rockets produced by these three countries. In addition to aerospace companies, the European missile manufacturer MBDA will also join the project. Although it is still too early to give precise details of GCAP, there are some issues that can be assumed if we take into account the characteristics of the FX and Tempest programs. Both projects had a dual power plant and had a single cockpit seat. This results in heavier and larger aircraft, but with a greater operational range. Both designs had stealthy qualities and were constructed of radar-absorbing materials. On the Tempest side, it was going to use the Meteor air-to-air -air missile, while the FX would use an updated version of that same projectile, with a new propulsion system to provide a higher range of effectiveness. The truth is that both the FX and the Tempest had many aspects in common in terms of objectives and fuselage design, which is why the union of the programs was possible. Probably the final result of the GCAP of each participating country has some special characteristics to adjust to the specific needs of each one, but in general lines the three partners are looking for the same thing, a powerful sixth-generation fighter with a lot of firepower at medium and long distance. None of the three countries promised to give a date for the first flight of this mysterious plane. But this is logical, setting dates can be counterproductive if delays arise. Keep in mind that completely revamped flight systems and avionics must be developed to meet present and future challenges. The processes are long and tedious, for example, the F-35 first flew in the early 2000s and was not combat ready until 2015. On the other hand, the Russian Su-57 is in an operational limbo since 2002, and only entered service in 2019, although it has not yet achieved a production line. All three countries describe GCAP as a sixth-generation fighter that will be far ahead of current aircraft in technological terms. A common factor between Japan, the United Kingdom and Italy is that their militaries use different versions of the North American F-35, so it is expected that, at a minimum, they will have detection systems, radars and stealth comparable to those of the Lightning II. But why develop a new aircraft if there is already a powerful fighter available? 
First and foremost, because the participating countries want to reposition themselves as a beacon of global technological development, and that is impossible if you only have jets designed and produced in another country. Second, because such a project will revitalize the aerospace industries, giving a technological but also an economic boost, generating investments and hundreds of thousands of jobs. Ultimately, the prospect of the first export-ready sixth-generation fighter is too great a temptation not to go for it. As you will see, these projects have more than one edge. It is impossible to ignore the context in which this collaboration occurs. In 2022, the Russian invasion of Ukraine and the intensification of Chinese military activity around Japan and Taiwan concerned all NATO member countries, particularly those in close proximity to Russia and China. This deal may help Japan counter the growing military might of its bigger neighbor, and give Britain a greater security role in a region that is a key driver of global economic growth. We commit to upholding a rules-based, free and open international order, which is more important than ever at a time when these principles are being questioned and threats and aggression are increasing, the three countries said in a joint statement of their leaders. The GCAP project is a logical symptom of the tense climate that has been in place for years. As if the sixth-generation fighter were not enough, and amid deteriorating regional security, Japan announced in December 2022 a military build-up plan that is expected to double defense spending to about 2% of gross domestic product in a period of five years. At the moment, the three musketeers are Japan, Italy, and the United Kingdom, but in the future more nations could join the project, although of course, they should be part of NATO. In the long term, the aircraft resulting from the GCAP project is expected to replace the Typhoon fighters, complementing the F-35s already in service. Only time will tell if this ambitious project will bear fruit, or if it will add to the great cemetery of futuristic fighters that never managed to take off from the hangars. We have reached the end of the video. Before we say goodbye, we want to invite you to subscribe, and if you already did, we thank you for your support. We'll meet again in the next video of Military Aviation.